So you, the only way to get coins in that is to just talk to the person at the counter. She's like, Harry, yeah, you can buy coins. Why can't you just use regular money on the TMs that we're selling? I don't know. You gotta buy coins and then you can use those. You can't earn the coins though. Pretty stupid, but uh, yeah, I still need eight more, and I don't know where to look. Well, there's weather vanes. I can try those. I guess this is the part where I gotta start conserving water. It bounced. There we go. There's another thing up here I never checked. This actually might have them. Yep. And there we go. I could stop at exactly 100, but there would be no point to do that. It would just make people very angry. And then instead of getting questions of, uh, why aren't... Damn it, I just refilled it. I didn't mean to. Whatever, like I said, I had to refill it anyway. But, um, anyway, instead of getting questions, how come you're not collecting the yellow coins? I'll get, how come you're not collecting 100 yellow coins past 100? This was my original plan. I've tried this many times. It doesn't work. But now that I think about it, there might be another way to do this without the rocket nozzle, so I'm going to go investigate that. I need the Steve, of course. Can't have an episode without referring to the Steve. If I jump out of that pipe with Yoshi and float over with him, and then, like, get off and switch to the hover nozzle in midair, wait, can I even do that? No, I can't, but we'll see how this works anyway. Or I could probably just ride on the boat. That would work too. Whoa. Ah, damn it, I could have kept floating there. <laughs> Whatever. It, it probably would have been possible, but I don't feel like trying it again. I could just ride the boat all the way there, but that would take forever. And now... Mario looks like he's on Magnum P.I., or... What was that sh Is it Magnum P.I.? What's that show where, like, everybody has the Hawaiian shirts and their cops and stuff? I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll be going in here. I've got eight minutes left. I don't know if that'll be enough. Hopefully it will. And my best guess for this level is number four, because that's what I did it with on a... Ugh hiccuping and burping and crap. Um, this is the episode I did it with in a different file. So we'll see if it works. I don't really want to spray every single one of those windmills. It'll take forever. So I'll look for more obvious sources. Damn it. that. And spray these guys into walls, and they give you three. I think I already knocked one into the water, which kind of sucks. Pooing bird! I haven't seen one of you in a while. I also have to uh, limit the number of times that I use the big spray move that, uh, by the way, people keep questioning me how to do that. But, yeah, because that uses up a lot. So if I'm not going to be refilling, i got to lay off on that, which is going to be hard because I love that move. Did I just send another one into the ocean? Oh, no, I didn't. There we go. I'm almost a third to my goal already. This might not be so bad. Of course, it still doesn't solve the problem that I have nothing to talk about. I could talk about, uh, personal problems over the weekend, though. Because I'm sure i sure people are totally going to care about that, but, uh, my grandma got out of the hospital sometime last week and went to, like, this place for therapy and was there a total of maybe about three days before leaving. 
because she hated it, and it was apparently, like, too expensive, and they didn't help her, and all that fun stuff, and she's like, no, screw this, I'm just going home. And so, now she's here, and isn't really entirely better yet, and so, she's kind of been bitching a lot. It, it's been rather annoying, really. Like, everything sets her off. I can't even really think of any decent examples, but like, for example, I w uh, she wakes me up this morning because I have to give Joey, like, something to eat for breakfast, because she doesn't, she like still gets dizzy and stuff a lot. If you're watching this and you don't know what happened to my grandma, uh, I explained it in a different video, but uh, she had a stroke or something. Um, anyway, so I had to do that, and then... I, like, went back to sleep for a little while, and I had to get up, and then I just had to watch him for a while, and then my mom comes home, and she's like, well, my grandma's like, I didn't have any breakfast. And I'm like, you know, you could have asked me for breakfast. You know, it, I could have done, I could have given you some. Why do you have to do, and she, uh, it, I don't know, it's a really minor thing to complain about. I'm sure nobody really cares at all. It's just obnoxious, because then later on she's complaining about how I, like, don't do anything for her. Like, you didn't ask me to do anything for you. Everything that you did ask, I did, but you only asked me to do, like, three things. If you, like, am I supposed to just know what you want for breakfast? If you're hungry, you can freaking tell me. And actually, I did offer, and she was just like, oh, yeah, kinda. Well, what do you want? I don't know. Okay, and that's the end of my complaining. Because, yeah, nobody needs to know about that stuff. This is going to probably take long. I said that it was going to take long, then I said, oh, hey, this isn't going to take that long, and now I'm saying it's going to take long again. I just hit a flower. I, do I dove and got stopped in my tracks by a freaking flower. Kind of reminds me in Diddy Kong Racing, I used to do this thing that I'd showed a, uh, my friend one time. Uh, near the entrance to Sherbet Island, there's this little beach area that has some palm trees, some bushes, and like a little flower thing on it. And I'm like, guess which one of these you can't pass through. Go to the tree, it lets you drive completely through it. Go to the bush, it lets you drive completely through it. Flower, you bounce off. Gotta love video game logic at times. Speaking of Diddy Kong Racing, has anyone played the DS one? Because I have that, and uh, I was expecting it to be, like, significantly different from the N64 one. I don't know why I would think that, but it, it isn't. They took out the red coin challenges, though, or silver coin, and instead replaced them to, with these things where you have to pop balloons with the stylus as you go through the course on a magic carpet, which is fine. It has its it, it it's, it's challenging in its own right, and it you don't have to get all of them to like beat it. You just and you can just, like try it again later to see if you can get all of them. But the thing that I hate is they took out the little mini games where like the one where you collect the eggs and put them in the nests and that kind of stuff, and they replaced them with these tracks where you race TT at the clock, it, and it's like create your own track with the stylus. Just draw it, and then that'll be the track. Except whenever you do it, it only lets you draw a line if you're, like, if... It doesn't... There's no customizable... There's, like... It's not custom at all. If you try to draw anywhere other than where it wants you, it doesn't let you draw it. Unless I'm doing something wrong. But... It was really stupid. Okay, I'm like, what was the point of that? That could have actually been interesting, but nope. And I need one more coin. I like going on tangents. I should do it more often. Okay, can I get up here and get my last coin? 
And now I've got about a minute left to get over there and grab it, which hopefully I should be able to do without any trouble. But I'm going to screw it up. There's no doubt. And uh, I've done this without refilling it at all. So kudos to me for doing that. So let's see, I've got about 30 seconds if I can get up there. Um, get on the wire. This is not the right place to go. Okay, wait, maybe that was. There was another wire. Where's the other wire? Nope, that's not it either. Uh, it's not up there. Where did it even go? Oh, it's over there. Okay, lesson for later on. Watch where it actually appears.